Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we're going to develop a document scanner application. So you can take a picture from your phone of a paper and it will mimic as though it was a scanned picture. So you can see this is an image with all the background in it. And when you pass it to the program, it removes the background and it just retains that image of the page. So it looks like it came through a scanner and not from a camera phone. And we're going to do another step forward to this, and that will be text detection and recognition. So you can see that there's an image of a paper that was supplied. It's first converted into a scanned image, and then a text recognition application is also run to understand what the text is behind it. So this is a simple OpenCV application, nothing too crazy in terms of machine learning. I'll quickly run you through the outputs of this program. So this is the original image, which we are going to supply. It's going to convert it into a grayscale, do some edge detection on it. And then finally, it will give you this output, which is in form of a scanned image. And you can also see the text detected. It's detecting the text, keep learning, keep growing on this. And that is the motto of this channel as well. So let's go back to the top. And this is a Google Colab link. You can find the description. You can find the link to this file in the description. And you can go ahead and log in. So if you're new to this channel and this is if this is something that's going to help you and you like the content that's coming up, do consider subscribing to the channel and join the community. The first step in this process is to install Tesseract for text detection. And that's the only library that we need. OpenCV already comes on pre-installed with Colab, so we don't need to worry about OpenCV, but we are going to install Tesseract. And the first step for that is to do sudo apt install Tesseract. And this is the same steps if you're doing to, trying to do it on a computer or a Python application or you are using command prompt, you can run these same commands on your computer and it will install Tesseract the same way. So you do sudo apt install Tesseract OCR and that's the main application, main Tesseract OCR. But since Tesseract OCR doesn't have a Go, it doesn't have a Python script, and this is this PyTesseract is the wrapper that allows us to use Tesseract in our Python application. So we do pip install PyTesseract. Uh, I'm also cloning the repository GitHub, and this is my repository where I have these images that we are going to be using for our file today. And if uh, it's something that you want to try on your own images, I'll show you how you can do it as well. So I'm once I cloned the repository, I am changing the directory to the document scanner. Let me change the runtime to a factory reset runtime. So that way it will come up as though it's coming on you and it will also remove, let's remove also the outputs of this notebook so we can run it from the scratch as though you would be running it. So starting from here, we're gonna press the play button and install Tesseract for ourselves and it also clone the repository and download all those files for us. So it's gonna take a few seconds and once everything is done, Right here in the folder section, we should see a document scanner folder come up very soon and also we're using all the files that we need here. So let's see, it looks like it's already done. Refresh the folder and you can see a document scanner folder come up and we already have these images. So learn.png, that is the image that we are gonna be using for today's project. So let me close this back again. And now defining all the necessary functions. So these are some necessary functions that we are using in our application. And of course, we're using OpenCV, using OpenCV2, NumPy, PyTesseract, and also CV2 IM Show. CV2 IM Show is another version of Google Colab's CV2 dot IM Show. So OpenCV has this function called CV2 dot IM Show and that is used for displaying an image. But since you're using you're using Google Colab, cv2.im to show cannot work. So hence the reason we are using Google Colab's version of cv2im show, which allows us to display an image in 
a Jupyter notebook. So you can see it has given us a, a source and a reference for it. So it's replacing the CV2 IM show for with CV2 IM show. So that's about it. And these are some of the functions that we are using. Rectify is something that uses that allows us to align the image. So the picture that uh, the paper that comes out, it is aligned in form of a uh, basically a paper image because the images that are going to be taken off from a camera image that could be in any shape any size on any any orientation as well but for us to align it in form of a uh, image in in form of a paper which is straight horizontal so that is the reason we use the rectify function so you can see this image uh, the paper is slightly slanted it's it has a orientation but the image here it's perfectly straight so that's so that's what the rectify function is going to do and that's how it's going to wrap it up for us then we have a resize function to resize the image for to a constant size all throughout the project then this is a grayscale function which allows us to convert the image in form of a grayscale then we have the edge detection and we'll go through into all of all those why we are doing them but these are basically the functions that we are using so we are converting it into and we are uh, computing all the edges in this and we are also computing the contours of this program because we do want to detect the paper from all these images so this image it has the background in it it has the paper in it but for us to detect we need to identify the contours so we can pick that particular contour that we are interested in i'll go into that in details in a little bit but that's what that's all we are doing here by using draw and then we are also drawing the contours if we need them so coming down here we have we are first reading this image and displaying it and we're also converting it into uh, a different original size we're making a copy so that we can use it in the fun for the program so you can see that we are reading the learn.jpg program this file from our google colab and it's also displaying it here for our purpose the next step is to convert it into a grayscale because we are going to do perform edge detection to identify all the edges in the application in the image and for that very purpose we do need to convert it into a grayscale and for that purpose we're using this function gray image that we defined earlier in order to convert it into a grayscale image so that's the output of a simple grayscaling process and the next step is to do the edge detection and this edge detection is very important for our next step to identify the contours so you can see that this is a full full blown edge detection image it's also able to detect the edges in the background and in our foreground image right here but we are interested in that particular contour which is the biggest in this image so you can see if you have if you have noticed right now this contour this contour which is representing the rectangle of this image is the biggest contour in this project in this image and that is the contour that we are interested in so it's able to detect that contour in the next stage from this edge detected image and it's going to reject all of this background for us and just extract that contour that we are interested in once the contour is identified and we extract it, we crop the image into that shape and then we also send it to the PyTesseract to do our text detection. So we do PyTesseract image to string and then we use that output image to detect the text from it. And once the text is detected, we display the text and we also display the output so we just press the play button and it will run it for us and you can see the text is immediately detected keep learning keep growing and you have the output of the paper here so that's about it that's as simple as this it goes and it's very simple to run it's very simple to understand and you have the output right here now how would you do if you had to display your own image or run your own image on it so come to this folder and we are running into this document scanner image just go ahead and press here 
and press upload and when the moment you uh, press upload it will open up a folder for you to upload that image that you are interested in and once that's done go into this function right here where we are reading the image on step three and change the file name to whatever file name you have for your own image so once you're done then you can run the whole program as it is and it will do it for your own image so that's about it and uh, if it's something that you're interested in go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what kind of project you're going to be displaying and what what is it that you're running into that'll help all of us to grow and of course it's something which allows us to rebuild and think into what we need to do so um, just to quickly run through some of the applications of this document scanner and uh, this is one of the practical projects that we did long, some time ago this is about eight years ago and we uh, we ran this project for a company back in india and they th this was basically a bank and they had this purpose where they they would I mean, uh, all the images, all the papers that were taken care, all the processing that was done in the bank, that was done on papers. And there were a bunch of papers. And these banks had different branches into different in different states, different localities. So they had hundreds of branches in the country. And they wanted all the images that were scanned, they should arrive at the central location of the bank, the central bank headquarters, before the end of the day. So imagine every day the hundreds of papers, hundreds of people that walk through the bank and the papers that they process, all of it has to be scanned and then also transmitted to the central bank. So that that was a lot of computation, a lot of energy, a lot of data that was used to transfer from one location to the other. So this this caused a lot of a huge problem for them and would take them hours for to do this transportation from one branch to the central bank so and for that purpose they proposed the comp the client already knew that what they needed and they came to uh, to the company that i was working with and they requested them to develop a system that could detect the text that could first scan the image use that scanned image and then convert it into a text format that could be used to just to transmit so the amount of space that that is required to save an image is of course too much it's it's going to be a pdf file and it, it, it it's a huge file but if you extract the text and just keep the text that text holds very little less information and you can just extract that text and send the text to the central location so you have reduced or you have compressed the file into a very small format so this was what the function was doing but there was more to it there we we had to do quite a bit because uh, most of this text used to be handwritten and not computer so you had to do some other processing in order to extract that information but that was the gist of the application and i'm just sharing this so that it opens up our ideas and our processes into such kind of application and it also ex gives us an idea of the power of computer vision and what all can be developed using this so with that, I come to the conclusion of this video. If it's something that is going to help you, do ahead and go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Until then, you guys take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.